Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you our new release in our $2 Hollas. Um, these did release on Saturday, um, so unfortunately the sale that we had for the kit is no longer available. Um, but from here on out, the day that a kit releases, we'll be having 15% off of the collection. Um, so I'm really excited to bring that in. Um, but this kit here is in collaboration with Coco of Coco Lux Designs. And then I think it's designs and not plans. Give me one second. Yeah, so it is in collaboration with Coco Lux Designs. Um, she is on Instagram, and I believe she also has a YouTube channel. I will link her information and Shanice's information down below. And Shanice from Planners and Tacos, um, both on Instagram and on YouTube. So I'm going to go through this first with you guys. So here is the kit. I just want to give you like a close up of what everything looks like. And I'm really happy with the way that this kit came out. I think we did a really beautiful job um, and we already have something lined up for Juneteenth, which I'm really excited for. Um, but some little um, tidbits that we did in here. We did lift every voice and sing. Half of it is printed and half of it is foiled. For here, it does say, um, honor the past in inspiring the future, this little stamp right here, and Black History Month initials. Here we have names of historical figures in this box right here. For the quote box we did, uh, the time is always right to do what's right. And for this girl holding a sign, it says Black History is American History. I thought somebody was in my office and I'm by myself. I got so scared. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the second page. There's no foiling on this page anymore. Um, I just wanted it to be more of like a layering thing rather than you having to like cover up foil if you don't want it. So um, yeah, so you have your deco here. You get some swatches, some layering pieces, and then two um torn pages or whatever um and this right here is lift every voice and sing as well um but it's not foiled so it'll be really good to foil or layer with here is your page full of boxes again a minimal foiling um <clears throat> so you get your lace boxes your midi boxes some square and more um i would say tiny midi boxes and then quarter boxes, third boxes, and then half boxes here. And then you have your bottom washi, which is so pretty. How pretty is that? I love it. It's so beautiful. So um, your washi strip. So now we don't do the cut anymore. Um, just so that if you do want to cut it, you have the option to cut it. Um, but I know that a lot of people have been just doing it all throughout type of situation. Um, and then we have some mini headers, a, d a habit tracker, some checklists, two headers, and then some set for layering. Here are the flats and washi florals. Here is the jumbo florals and the regular florals. So um, I did end up taking into consideration, I was watching a YouTube video, somebody using her florals, and they said, I wish the bouquets were a little bit smaller so it'd be easier to use. So I was like, okay, bet. So um, I left some that were still like a good, decent size, um, but I know a lot of people layer them behind like icons or things like that. So I definitely wanna use like some really small ones so that you could definitely do all of that and then in this one you dig it four frames in here as well um, so those would be either really fun to layer with or just to you know put your month in it I don't know what you would like to do but um, I just really wanted to bring that in and then we have the journaling page so here is the journaling page you get the film strip um, you get the two torn um, 
things here, which it is in the opposite direction of these guys. So if you want to do that, um, and then you get plenty of florals and deco and one stamp on this corner over here. So that is that. And then we did decide that we're going to start doing ink stains with all of our kits now. So you get um, a good chunk of sizing. So you get some small ones so you can layer behind boxes and then you get a good chunk of bigger ones so that you can kind of layer behind um, either the, your dates or you just trying to take up some space for journaling or anything like that. I've personally been journaling a lot lately and um, I've been really enjoying doing stains because I just pull from like old stuff that we have um so yeah that is the stains now let's get into the two doll hollas and let me zoom you in okay so this week we have a kind of like a cottage core kind of theme we have fairies we have trees we have snails um and if you ended up getting the kit from i think last week or the week prior let me pick up which kit that was. If you got wings, it's basically this one right here. If you got wings, these would go perfect with that kit. Um, here are the trees. These are the large version. They're not that big. They're probably like an inch tall. Um, and then you have the regular trees. If you see any, like, mistakes, I'm sorry. Um, I took these when I was, like, really in the thick of my sickness, and I just was like, I'm just trying to show these, and I'm so tired. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you won't receive them like that, but you get the gist. Here are English Cottage Large Houses. Here is just English Cottage. These are so cute. English Cottage Large. Um, these would go, honestly, these would go perfectly with a kit that I'm going to be coming out with next month that is a custom kit. And I just received the art this morning. Supreme, you guys. Um, I'm probably going to show like a hint of it uh, later this week so that you can kind of get your hands on this and for that. But yeah, I've just been really into like cottage core type of vibes. Um, these are on premium map and then we have some fairy doors I thought these would be really cute to like hide in boxes or your date covers and then kind of have like a little fairy on the side of it I thought that would be really cute and here's a large version here are these little mushrooms they're so cute I thought these would be really cute to like mark when you're having like a really good day or something like that um, but yeah, I thought these were so freaking cute. These are mushroom emojis. These are retro birds. These are the large, and then here are the regular sizing. So you can kind of get the difference. Here is bird branch. And this does take up the full width of a box. Nesting branch. Birds. These are flock of birds. Here is mushroom group divider. Here is mushroom flat two. If it says flat, it means it only takes up about an inch of a box. And then the scenes take up the full width of a box. So this is mushroom scene one. This is mushroom flat one and mushroom scene two. Here is mushroom deco. Here is hummingbird. Love birds. Snails. These are so cute. Like, imagine these little corner ones, like, on the corner of your boxes, just kind of, like, hanging out. I thought that would be cute. This is a uh, fairy font days. This gave me, like, 
um, fairy tale book vibes. I thought it would be really cute, something very different. Um, this one is Mushroom Fairy. She's just chilling on top of a mushroom. Fairy Garden. These are just little fairies. This one's like holding, um, what are those called? I'm having a brain fart right now. I cannot remember what they're called. But you know what I'm talking about. It's like one of those things that you like make a wish on. Um, here she's just like catching the little nubs that are coming off and then um, a fairy on a swing and then you have more fairies these would be really cute like for like sitting on a corner or something like that i thought those would be really cute and then here's the large version and here are fairy frames now i'm going to place these down so you can kind of get an idea as to what these look like in your planner So here is the $2 hollows for this week. I really hope that you guys enjoy this. I think it's really cute, really um, fairy tale-ish. Um, but yeah, if you have any requests for $2 hollows, just leave them down below. Um, but next week, I know it's going to be a good one. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.